a high school basketball player in New Jersey, winning the Tournament of Champions, or TOC, is the ultimate achievement. If we make them work on defense now, it just becomes like, you know, hot night of cold butter. Easier and easier and easier. But you guys are so impatient. We've done well locally in winning three of the last four county tournament, but what we have not done well is you know, on the state level, and uh, we need to get that back. And it's been quite a drought. The Patrick School was formerly known as St. Patrick's High School, which was rich in history and tradition. As St. Patrick's, the institution collected five Tournament of Champions titles and had no shortage of great alumni. Oh, Mike Nardi, Jeff Robinson, Corey Fisher, Kyrie Irving, Mike Gilchrist, Texas Strickland, Sam Dallenberg, Al Harrington, the list goes on and on. I talk about Kyrie Irving all the time. He gave us headphones, speakers. I don't even know how many book bags. He gave, literally every kid in the school got headphones and speakers. Mike had given it in our locker room. Like That means a lot because there's uh, so many people who come from nothing and they make it to something and just forget where they came from. And I like how my kid Gilgis and Kyrie don't forget where they came from. This current TPS squad looks to take their place in the program's history and expectations are as high as ever since they are considered one of the most talented high school teams in the nation. The team, ranked as high as number 10 in one national poll, is comprised of seven key seniors, five of whom have committed to Division I programs next year. Well, you have myself. Other than myself, you have uh, Marcus McClary. You have uh, Boy Coca and Bola Jang. They're both going to Tulane. Jordan Walker. An extremely, extremely, extremely fast guard. We have uh, Nick Richards going to Kentucky. We sacrifice for each other every day. We take our, we take our personal goals out of the way. This year, we're just trying to come together and do whatever it takes just to win a TOC. The Patrick School came into existence in 2012 after monetary issues forced St. Pat's to close down. Head coach Chris Chavanis led the charge in the Patrick School's emergence, and to help restore the program's greatness, he looked in a controversial direction. Good, good, last one each. And in 2015, hired former Rutgers head coach Mike Rice. Job step, job step. Who was fired two years earlier for verbally and physically abusing his players. Here we go, here we go. Nice, Nicholas. Everyone makes mistakes. It's how you respond to those mistakes. That's nice. Every day I know I'm a better coach and, and from those days. And, uh, and I think the passion and the energy is the same. It's just uh, you learn and you, you get better from it and you don't make those mistakes again. Jump that foot. Jump the inside foot. Good, excellent guys, excellent. I wasn't worried at all, I was actually ecstatic. Because having a collegiate head coach coming to coach you is tremendous. Two dribbles, close your shoulders, jump hook. Allowing me to develop and teach, that's my passion. I have a sixth grade girls league that I'm coaching a sixth grade girls team. And not my daughter, it's just, I love teaching, I love coaching. One, two, Okay, two crab dribbles. Come outside a little bit more. Right there, go. Basically, he's just getting me ready for college, and I learn, I learn a lot of things from him every day in practice. Nick, you had a moving screen because you didn't get down here quick enough. You know, he helps us a lot based on you know, his attention to detail, and he gives us a good measure of how it's gonna be at the college level. You gotta do it every time. You have to be every time. Early, aggressive, hard hedge, low, go. Hell yeah, bro. It's definitely worked out for us really well. Especially practice-wise, we do certain things in practice that probably no team's ever done before. He definitely teaches us, definitely teaches us. When we run something, pick your ass to where I want you to go. You popped out to the three yesterday. Sprint in here, Jameer. Pass, sprint, all the way below Marcus is man, and you haven't done it in the last three games. A lot of teams don't have two of the you know, top coaches in the world on your bench and on your side every game and every practice. You know, both of them together is a, you know, something to be reckoned with. Get over and be caught a heart. You went right to his back. The two coaches have their hands full. Although the team is loaded with talent, 
It will take their best coaching efforts if they want to reach their full potential and win a TOC. Good, excellent. We have seven seniors that can play you know, Division One college basketball, and that's rare. When something bad happens, you have seven players in the back of their mind know that they have the ability to take over the game. And so you have to manage those uh, because they have to play together and play for one another. The Patrick School, St. Pat's, every year we're good. But this seems to be just a year where a little more pressure and a little more expectations because of those seniors. This is about getting back on track. This is a perfect game because this is the last game before every game is a one and done. And that's one and done in, in the county tournament, one and done in the state tournament. And this is to get back on track in front of a national audience. You know the chaos that takes place in and around a basketball game with us. Stay together. That's all it is, stay together. Get it. Did Cal say anything to you before the game? No, he didn't say anything. What's, what's it like playing in front of your college coach? Like um, I don't really pay attention when he's in the crowd. I just try to like just bring my game whenever, whenever it's time. Although stacked across the board, the Patrick School's TOC hopes may come down to the play of one senior. Seven foot Kentucky bound McDonald's All American, Nick Richards. I first started playing the game at 14 years old. Started in Jamaica at my high school called Jamaica College. Got recruited by a scout in New York. Came here, played a couple tournaments, and got recognized by some of the high schools in New York. And from there, it was just history. Seeing him grow from ninth grade to now is tremendous. He has so much more potential, and that kid is gonna be great. And I think he definitely can be in the NBA, not just being in the NBA, but be a really, really good player in the NBA. DeAndre Jordan, Davis, there's only a couple guys that do what he does at seven feet tall. Coach Calipari asked his guys to do different things, and he's gonna guard one through five, he's gonna be able to hedge, he's gonna be able to run up and down, and uh, he'll be, He'll be able to go from the day he steps on campus defensively. Richards was recently named a McDonald's All-American, but in his own mind, still has a ton to prove. The night they announced the list, I was going through Twitter and I was like, there was a lot of people that saying I shouldn't have been named a McDonald's All-American because of this, this, and this. And like, it actually like, got into my head, and I, like, I'm actually gonna start proving why I was named a McDonald's All-American, like, all the hard work that I put into the game. It would be very important not just to win one for the alumni, but it would be very important for the, the school uh, being named the Patrick School now to have a tournament of champions. If we win the TLC, we probably just going to go down. It's one of the best teams in, in St. Pat's history. We're just going to get it done. TLC is our only goal. In the beginning of the year, like Coach said, TLC are bust, and I, I believe that 100%. I feel like if we weren't able to get a TOC, it would be a fail. Winning the TOC is my goal. It's been here since I came here in eighth grade. Watching the high school team play, and it would be a great feeling. The school, being the Patcher school now, and everything that they had to do to, 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 to keep going and now be incredibly successful, yeah, I think it would be a big deal. And, uh, but that's, that's what we're working for every day. One, two, three. Yeah.